Hey everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa Paper Lace and Bling. We're doing another cleanup on all five because, dang. <laughs> uh, I found this bag, which is one of these really nice mesh, very strong zipper bags, and you can get them off of Amazon. And, um, what was it, Linda McGuire? She did, years ago, did something where she got these, then she kept her little doodads and things in them, kid stuff, all that kind of stuff. So, I ended up picking myself up one that had, like, this size, the next size, and the next size, and the next size. You know, it was like a four-pack or something, and each size was smaller than this one. This is the largest. I decided that I'm going to use this, because in two weeks, I'm going to Florida. Yay! Get to see my grandson. Um, so, and of course my daughter, <laughs> and maybe my youngest son who doesn't really care if he sees us or not. You know, he's at that age. Anyway, um, okay, so, uh, this pretty much was everything that was in it, except for, for some things, because I also have, now, you'll be able to see it in the phone, I'm, you know, in, in, hello, look up here. <laughs> I have one of these that is a file, and I keep Christmas stuff in here. This is pretty much like where all my Christmas paper goes. Um, now I have some of it out because I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm starting to really get into getting my Christmas doilies ready for the holidays for the shop. But I got to clean all this up. So anyway, so we're going to chat. You grab your your stuff you need to, you know, just, you should. Now somebody asked me where's the best place to start, okay? The best place for me to start is right where I craft. So the first thing that I know that doesn't work for me or is really messy or whatever, grab that. Um, and then... You know, it just kind of snowballs from there because then you're going to find the next thing that you go to grab from something else is like, oh my gosh, this is a mess too. Let's do this one. Just don't get so overwhelmed and don't stop crafting because I think that's the big thing. Everybody gets, I'm going to clean this room out and then I'm going to put everything back in and, and it's all going to be organized and all of that stuff. But you might forget what works for you. My belief is you should have stations, okay? Like I have all of my die cuts over in this corner. Well, I have them on my wall, but I have like my machine, all of the tools that I need for that, all of the other big, the big dies, you know, those real thick ones, um, my embossing folders, Everything that I would run through a die cutting machine is right over here in this corner. Um, now I do have pens and pencils in different places, but it's on the amount of use that they get. And sometimes there's like there's some pencils that I really only take when I'm flying and I want to do watercolor. So I take my watercolor pencils there. Other than that, I hardly ever use them, which is really a bad thing. But anyway, I need to get started while I'm... Blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, I am going to be working on Christmas journals. How many did I decide I needed? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six of them. That's enough. Single signature... But, you know, they're going to be beefy. <laughs> I, I can't do not beefy, I guess. So, I probably will do seven because I have a feeling I'm really forgetting somebody that has mentioned that they, you know, would really like to see that happen. Now, this container has stuff that I just was die cutting, I mean, cutting out uh uh, while I was, while my husband and I were traveling around trying to find a house that we wanted. 
So I have lots of things here. So that can be Christmassy. But I have lots of things here that I am just going to have to do another day. Uh, yeah, there's... This is nothing to do with Christmas. And, yeah. So I'm just going to put this back in here. Whoopsie. Yeah. Nay, there's another day's worth of stuff right there. Okay. I know one thing I want is a 12 by 12 plastic. Hold on just a second. Oh, I know I have some empty ones right here. Okay. I love these things. Um, I've probably got way more than I need, but you know. So these are some papers that was in that file folder thing that I do have a, an old photo play uh, Christmas Think to Remember, I think is what it was called. And I've made a box, but I've never made the mini album to go into the box. And so I do need to, uh, I do need to do that one of these days. But anyway, so I'm going to stick all of my 12 by 12s that I have come up with and then anything else that I come up with um, paper-wise that's not small. Now that's, um, see what this is. This is what I had for parchment paper for sale on last year, and these are all things that need to get cut out. So I'm going to take the paper out and put it in here, because those will be great to put in the journals, and I probably have six or seven. Yeah, I told my daughter, I didn't tell her that she was getting one of them, but I told her that I was going to do some, and this, so this is fussy cutting. I'm going to leave that in there. So anything that needs to get fussy cut out will go in there. Um, so I told her, I said, I will be... I don't think this is Christmas. I will be uh, making the journal for Connor to give to all his aunts and his grandmother. And I'm going to not have any tags in them, lay out the journals, lay out the tags, and let him take the tags. Now, he's, um, he's seven, and he loves art. He loves drawing. Well, you all have seen some of his drawings. But he loves drawing and uh, those that kind of stuff. So, you know, we're just going to let him play, figure out what he wants. And then that is really something that he was helpful with. Okay, so I got napkins. Those are going to go in something else. Isn't that, that would be adorable on one of the, oh, uh, on one of the journals? Yes. See, this was um, some gifts. Um, gosh, I want to say Linda maybe gave these to me. I'm not sure. And then these are just some Christmas cards that I can incorporate into things. So this, no, no, no. Oh, Judy. I think Judy did that file folder for me and it had it full of stuff, which I think I've used most... Most of my Happy Mail that I had, which wasn't a huge amount, that's, yeah, but most of the Happy Mail I have, I have gone through it and, and utilized uh, a lot of it um, for the Christmas in July and last Christmas in July and, wow, just a lot of stuff. So, uh... I'm trying to get down to the container that I want to put all of this little loose ephemera in for me to take down. Um, and I didn't really want to take a lot of stuff, but if I don't, um, if I don't 
work on these while I'm down there, I will be not in in good. Oh my goodness. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soul. Oh, this is so cute. And then it has Frosty the Snowman little poem on the back. And then on the inside, now I don't actually remember uh, where I got this from or how long ago. <laughs> so we won't be touching the chocolate milk thing there, but that's just adorable. See, now I could make a bunch of those. I could make a bunch of those for him to give to his class with him. So that would be fun. So we might do that. Uh, okay, so I think I've got all the paper out of there. That's an envelope. Oh, isn't that where are you? Isn't that adorable? I do remember I was in a card club one year. Well, for several years. Um, an altered mixed media group and a um, card making group. And this was one of their uh, cards. Oh, and this was another one. They did snowflakes. Yeah. That's just a Store-bought card somebody gave me. Store-bought. Oh, that needs to go back into that photo. This is the photo play. Oh, it's Luke 2. It's, it's a very religious one. And um, colors aren't really all that great in it. Uh, but, you know. Anywho, that can go back in there. Oopsie, oops, oopsie, oopsie. Timber! See, and I save, like, the the um, cute little cards I get. And this was one from the card club. Yeah, I, I save them for when I need ideas and stuff. This was one from the card club. Isn't that just adorable? I'm sorry, guys. You're supposed to be cleaning. Stop looking at me and clean. Clean up on aisle five, please. Clean up on aisle five. I'm just going to stick that in there. What is this? Oh, yeah, that can stay in there, too. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Oops. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, these are all Christmas cards. Hmm. Okay. Isn't that one so adorable? This is from... Now, if you guys want a kit that you can make great Christmas cards this year, you go over to Dreams Etc. And it's called... All Creatures Christmas or something like that. It is absolutely stunning. I, I did... Um, if you go back to Christmas... Uh, You know, under my I do I do playlists on my YouTube channel. So if you go under the playlist in the YouTube channel, it's for Christmas. You probably will see um, some of those. Um, in that one, pretty. I think that's from a. Oh no, that's yeah. Okay. Um, but anyway, so. You but you'll be able to see Christmas cards that I've made, and um, that's one year I I used her kit. Just wonderful, just absolutely wonderful kit. So easy to put together. I think three or four days I had like forty cards put together. I just un 
unhook this, took this card apart. Why do I have a paper clip in it? Okay, so this goes like this, and this goes like that. Okay, so that was another card we made. <laughs> Which I can just cut the top, the side off of these, and boom, I've got me. This is. Yep, yeah, I'll keep that. Um, I've got me some uh, tags, you know, really super cute tags. I just pulled that off a Christmas card. So, yeah. Um, the ones that. Um, oh, I've got two of those. I think there used to be where you could, um, everybody would bring a card for everybody to do, plus they'd put one into uh, the middle. And then at the end, everybody would have an extra card in the middle, and then you could, uh, we did a drawing, and whoever had the, the, the name, the, whosever name was picked, got to grab one of the, I mean, grab all of the extra cards. So then you got that many more cards. And usually that extra card was one that you put together while you were showing everybody how to do it. So you got then that many put together cards. Way better than having just a bunch of pieces and parts. I do believe that is, oh no, that needs to go in there. Okay, so I got some gold glitter paper. Can't do Christmas without glitter paper. This is, oh, I did not know or remember that I had this. Oh, so cute. I'll have to stamp some stuff too. So I'm going to stick this stamp set in here. Stick this in here. Come on. And I've got a sticker book. I think I bought this last year. Um, and it, it's... I don't know. But some of it can be used. I don't remember. I think I got it after Christmas and I got it for very, very little. Because I don't usually buy sticker books. But, you know, since I have a grandson now, now that is stuff that wants to be cut out. This is a nice piece of green paper. Um, I don't do blue for Christmas very often, but... Oh, my. What are you getting into? What are you getting into? My little dog's getting into something. Okay, so here's more Christmas things. So I'll put this, those are from Digital Kits, and here is some, yeah, take that, although I, I just don't do that much blue for Christmas, but I might end up, I've got enough blue things, so I might end up making one of them blue, just sticking everything blue that I got into that one. That might work. Okay, I think... Pretty much everything else can go down into one of these. Now, Gail Augustinelli turned me on to these many moons ago. And the Paper Studio had these. Uh, now, I do have some things that aren't Christmas in here, but they all need to go somewhere else. So that will be another video. Um... Uh, yeah, that's all goes someplace else. This is all, well, I was going to say it was almost all Christmas, but I see the first couple things on the top are not Christmas at all. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's an actual cabinet card. That's beautiful. That's old Christmas and that's that. Isn't that nice? I don't know why people didn't smile back then. Maybe all their teeth were bad or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe one of you guys can tell me that. Does somebody know why 
was it like not good to I guess those would be okay was it not good to smile in pictures or what I mean what's up with that all of these can come out they're not Christmas not Christmas at all and then there's a bunch of little things in here you know little places and then I have some more Christmas here okay so I am going to unzip everything this is Halloween I didn't need this one that needs to go in the Halloween one uh, this I'm sure does not work anymore all of my rub-ons that I've had for years all of a sudden have stopped working they just they just don't they don't want to work anymore I'm like fine be that way poodle heads okay let's see this is bluish bluish and pink stuff I'll put in one spot bluish and pink stuff doesn't mean it won't get used on something else, but, you know. Now, these were just some, some tags. So, uh, you know, off clothing. So, uh, I will stick those in there. Because you never know when you're going to want to use a cool little tag somewhere. And these are all kind of nice, small ones. This is from an old ribbon. That is just store-bought. I don't know where it got off to. I've got more. So let's see. Can I stick all of that in there? Yes, I can. I've got some more of those. Here they are right here. I think I got these in Happy Mail. And I, I've mixed up my Happy Mail so much now um, that I don't know who gave me what, and I should write it down, but I thank you all so much, because they, it, it's just all been so much fun to have, these two need to go in with the paper, there we go, and this is stickers, sticker can go in with the paper, go my dogs are start starting to circle around behind me <laughs> ah, they they are apparently ready to my husband's out working in the shop so they're they're basically in the living room by themselves sleeping but they have awoken <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh my gosh so in two weeks, we, I mean, we're, we're not counting the days because holy Hannah, we've got so much to do. What else is new? We just ripped the back deck off of our house and, um, going to take the wood. So we're carefully ripping the back deck off of the house and we're going to take all that wood and we're going to build a different um, we have a totally covered cement ground patio and then there was a deck that was two steps up from the patio and it was just wood with hand railings and stuff but we either needed to like sand it refinish it paint it it needed something or tear it out before all the wood went bad because you know i think wood has definitely come down in price from before but uh we are still you know it's if you've got good wood why let it go to waste that's what i say anywho now why did these fall out or was this off something else no these fell out of this one. I'll just put them over here. They need a new home. Um, so anyway, they put the larger die cuts and the smaller die cuts in different places. Um, so they uh, took 
all of the wood off of the deck. And of course, there's been uh, all kinds of hornet's nests and things like that. Holy Hannah. Okay, these two won't fit in there, but those all, no, that one won't. Okay, so there's that. Here's words. Okay, um, yeah, so, you know, it's just, it's just finding time to do everything, but we're going to move, we've got a fire pit that is made out of fired bricks that we got off of Marketplace one time, and oh my gosh, it was like exact, exactly plus about 10 that we needed. So we were so excited to get a hold of that. Those won't fit in there. That won't fit. That won't fit as well. So, um, yeah. So we're we're pulling all of those things all together and going to enclose part of our covered porch. My husband has a smoker gas smoker and cooker gas grill and then he's got a smoker and cooker charcoal grill he used to have a big smoker but we sold that the last garage sale we had he it, it, it did so much and we we're like he said it's not worth getting it fired up and and all of that for what little you know, it's just the two of us mostly. I mean, my son, my son, uh, once in a while, we'll we'll make him something. You know, he'll be over here for dinner. He he works very early in the morning, so not very often is he over for dinner. Uh, so yeah, we we have um, so we'll keep all that stuff together. We we enjoy when we get to have him, but he has been over helping us do this porch so um, he he is such a good kid and he's always so afraid that his father's going to overdo it so he says no I gotta come over because if I don't dad's dad's going to be hurting tomorrow and and uh, yeah because dad gets something in his head that he wants to do man and that's what he's going to do doesn't matter how old he is or how <laughs> can he can he actually pull it off? Nope, he's just going for it. Okay, I think all of those will fit there. These need to have a little larger area. I'll put them in here. Um, yeah. So other than that, uh, there's. Not too much that needs to be done on our on our bus, so that's nice. Uh, we do have. Oh, I see. There's letters for Noel. That's fun. Uh, we do have uh, most everything in there is stuff that we can keep in there, and we keep it plugged in. And we keep the refrigerator going just because it's better for the refrigerator. And it doesn't, we had not noticed any huge uh, uptick on our electric bill. So uh, we're not, we're not too worried about that. Let's see, I think that one will fit in there. Okay, so I'd say that's full. Um, uh, and then, you know, so... Really, it's, I've got two weeks, let's see where am I at here, I gotta see, oh, I'm at 30 minutes, guys, and I'm almost through, so see, we can, we can do this, we can do this, guys, you just, before you know it, you're sitting listening to me gab, and you're doing a little something, something, and before you know it, the time has flown by and you have a lot of things 
organized and out of your space. And again, I would tell you, I would sit down and figure out what works for you and what doesn't that is right in your immediate space and go out from there because you're going to find, I'm sure, you're going to find things like, um, you know, I, I've got, well, I've moved everything now, but like I had, uh, I had several books up here that had things in them stencils or whatever and it was like it was taking prime real estate hand you know I could get my hands on it but I didn't ever use them so then you know that needs to get moved and what is it that I'm constantly getting up to go and get start writing those things down if you're getting up to go and get stuff a lot then you need to think about moving whatever that is back over. And I try and keep all like things together. Um, I know with my pens and pencils that doesn't happen, but like all my mixed media stuff is on one of those rolling carts or right here by my table because that's where I'm kind of wanting to head through the winter when I'm actually here. Um... And I have, like, uh, my book of stamps that I'm working on. I'm still not done with that yet. I've got my, uh, you know, my brads and my eyelets and things because I grab those all the time. I use them in almost every book that I make. And so, you know, those are the things you need to see what it is that you're getting up to go and find versus uh, are you you know, all set with what you've got kind of thing. So, um, yeah, you just, if you, but that would be, that would be my first step in organizing your room is, is start by putting, you know, getting everything nice and neat with all the little tool caddies and things like that or whatever it is that you use. Um, and make sure that there's only things in there that you use and have some place else that you can put those occasional tools that's out of the way. So I'd say start there and then move on and have fun with it. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut it off because 30 minutes is a little past time. But we got lots of good work done. Thanks so much. And uh, until next time, see ya. Be kind. Make something you love. Bye.